All right, guys. Well, today, making a video about a uh, Texas Pride dump trailer. This is the one good for twenty-two thousand. Let's get the uh, flange to the spread over the over the axles. Um, bed on it. Um, I'm not going to show the whole trailer because it's got my company logo on it, but. Here's this, it's telescoping. So let me tell you about a little bit about Texas Pride. All right. I have absolutely had nothing but problems with them. So their trailers are, I mean, okay. It's one of my excavators. Trailers are okay, like I said. I mean, you look at this fender, the fender is not straight. It's, uh, you can see there's a gap right there, and there's less of a gap back here. Um, so, yeah. I have the Texas Pride logo right there. I ripped it off because I was so embarrassed. Just embarrassed about their customer service. Their customer service is garbage, right? Let me tell you a little bit something about this this cylinder right here. So this cylinder, I got it back. I picked it up brand new. This trailer was brand new. Not even 12 hours I had it. And I noticed right away, it was pissing oil. If you can't see that right there. Pissing oil at the top of the, at the, at the big seal. And... So since it was leaking oil, I called them and I said, hey, my trailer's down. My trailer is down. There's the pump box. My trailer's down and I need to get this fixed, right? So this is, I says, make sure you have the cylinder in stock. So that way I don't have to worry about my trailer being down, all right? So I called them and I told them this and then I called them a week later. I says, I'm taking it in on this date. I need it. I need that cylinder. And they says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we'll have it. Another, the, the third week later, I called them and I did the same thing. And lo and behold, they didn't have it when I brought it in. And I asked them, I says, honestly, we raise it up a little bit. You guys can see the other, uh, not so great qualities about it that when you're paying all kinds of money for a brand new trailer these little details these little details should be done um, so you can you can see it's still leaking oil I've had it for about two months now um, and they says oh yeah yeah we'll uh, we'll take care of it well I dropped it off and then I called them you know after a week Oh, so we're still waiting on it. We're still waiting on it. All right. You know, I had patience. So I called them again. And then the next week, two weeks, they've had it. And they said, there's the bottom of the bed and everything. And they said, oh, yeah, it, uh, it's on its way. It's on its way. It's on its way. So I said, all right. You know, I had some patience. Fourth of July rolls around. And I said, I said, Where's my trailer? I call them. Nobody's answering. Well, it turns out they had the whole week for 4th of July off. And they didn't bother telling me that they had it off. So now I'm waiting for a solid week to call them and say, where is my, my trailer? Because this is absolutely ridiculous already. They've had my trailer for three weeks. And I'm already losing over $5,000. It, within these three weeks because I do not have this trailer. I'm a small company. I need this trailer. I bought it for so They uh, The next week the fourth week I call them on the Monday and I say hey, I'm picking my trailer up Tuesday I don't care if it's fixed or not Well that Monday I didn't know this but my wife called me and she says hey There's this big round thing that just showed up 
a big round long thing and you know it uh it looks like the cylinder so i said what the heck they sent the cylinder to my house the cylinder weighs like 250 pounds right um uh, three maybe yeah about 250 i'd say and uh maybe 200 and uh yeah sent it to my house when they should have sent it to the dealership so now i have a cylinder right here that i have to replace because they can't get their stuff right so this is my second trailer from them the first trailer i still haven't even gotten a pink slip or a um license plate for it and i picked it up at the end of november last year so lo and behold i really do want to pay this thing off and sell it and the other trailers paid off too and i still haven't gotten a pink slip i live in california so i really do i really 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 want to sell this trailer and go with another company because they just don't they just don't understand small business they really don't and it really makes me upset really makes me upset a little bit of overloading it right there and some concrete came and smashed that up another thing too about quality control all right i do quite a bit of welding myself and if you look right there you can tell but this frame this is the main frame rail and it's pitted because they can't they didn't grind their welds down if you look on the other side i know this all too well you start pitting the frame rail the main frame rail right like this you can tell right there if you start pitting the main rail like this it can lead to rust and that rust leads to cracking there's a big one right here. Yeah, that's the big one. There's a couple more down there. So Texas Pride Quality Control. You guys need to figure that out about grinding some welds. Because now I have to go under here, grind it. See, you can see it right there. Look at that. It's not even fully welded. That's that's totally half half job right there. Um. Yeah. Just very, very disappointed with these guys. This, so this cable right here, I had to add these.